Hey now, it's your girl Shanita Nicole and welcome to Do Dream On. Today we're going to be going over a tutorial of the YouTube video intro. What I did was I did use a template. If you see here, there's a recently used template. So that's the template that I used. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a page. I'm going to click here. You see it's highlighted in that pretty blue. We're going to delete that. And then I'm going to input the actual template that I used. I would have kept this color, but it didn't go with my current YouTube banner. So in any type of brand, whether you are a personal brand, a business, you want to make sure that you have recognizable colors. One thing that I love in Canva is they have something called a brand kit. And with this, you can use certain brand colors for whatever you're utilizing. It's really, really cool in Canva, but we're going to talk about that in another video. So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate this look for an intro. So we're going to first start with the different elements. If you're familiar with design and different things like that, you're used to layers. So a lot of design is just layering and making things pretty, seeing what works and what does not, what colors match well, etc. So we're going to click on on this background here and if you see this highlighted so there's an element in the background and at the top is three colors here to what that element is so we're going to change this to my brand colors for my YouTube palette to change the colors you see at the top you can try blue or you could put this code in this is called a Hicks code and they're used for all types of colors and color schemes you could even search any color you want every color has a Hicks code so anywho we're going to highlight on this pink here, this fuchsia type pink, and we're going to change it to my color. Now, I know all my colors. I even write them down and have cheat sheets, but they're down here as well. So if you hover over it, it shows you what color it is. So I know for a fact one of my backgrounds is that color. And then each different color, you want to make sure you're clicking on the different squares or else you'll just keep consistently changing this color here. So like, let me show you. You just keep changing it. So you want to make sure you're careful and you're going back and changing that. Um, then I want to see, I don't believe that's the next color. I think it's both this and then it's this color here. So that's that first box. And then we have this squiggly box here, which these colors are so pretty and cool and vibrant. They make me happy and make me like summertime, right? But we want to change this to match our format. So we're going to go ahead and change the colors again. And see which color that it actually is. And when we're doing this, we're literally creating whatever we want. Like what colors make you feel good? What colors make you feel happy? That's what you want to emulate. You want this to be so personal to you, right? Or why do it, right? Want to make sure it's really pretty and really it's showing and showcasing us. That's the point of it. Like I said, I'm going to play around. To make sure okay there we go so those are two elements and then we have the background so i'm going to change this pink and then we have the square here i'm going to change that i'm going to change the text right and we can change the font so that font is not how i feel I don't feel now bold. I feel more a bia, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> right? We can do it, see it fit, right? And we click back on it, we can change the colors, what color we want it to be. This is the color. We're going to delete this. Now, here's something cool. You could always add your logos. You can add pictures, logos, whatever you, videos, whatever you want into your canvas. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to my uploads, and I have a lot of them, because so don't be mindful of that. We're going to go ahead and scroll down. And I'm trying to find my logo that says Shanita Nicole. 
So I have all types of things I've uploaded on here to make all types of different creations, right? So that's Shanita Nicole, but that's a different color. So I'm gonna use the pink here. And the pink here, you see how over in here, over here is the PNG. But right here, it has that big white background that doesn't look cute, right? So one of the things that is really, really cool in Pro is under effects, there's a background remover. This thing is amazing. I do photography, so things like this like make me so happy. Like literally, when I saw that, I fell in love. I said, this is amazing. You know how many backgrounds I can remove? <laughs> You know what I could do with this? That's just how my brain goes. And I get really excited. So that's that. And then we're going to come over here. And this is not moi, right? This isn't me. She's cool, but she's not me. So we're going to delete her. And then I'm going to, since I already have it over here, I'm going to input my photo. And if you see something looks off, right? That's because I did two things. I flipped it horizontally and then I added a filter so there's so many cool effects Canva is so amazing it's like so many things you can do I added the filter of dalliance I'm assuming and then I didn't want it that pink or that pink but I did give it just a little bit of a pink so it can blend in smooth with the background right we want everything to be smooth right and then we want to change our background for our little frame to stay so like this back here we can move that around and then we're going to change it to this color and if for any reason you forget what color it is I have mine written down because I'm just, you know, like that. But if you want to see what color it is, and it shows that it's faded. You saw that fade? This is so smart. You can come over here and you see it's this mauve type color. Isn't that what Jay just said? This is a pink, it's mauve, right? And you see the C794A3. That's the Hicks code. So I could type that up there and it will search and find that as well. I could find a different color if I want it. I could play around and find a different color if I wanted to. I'll just show you, right? You can play around with any colors that you want. And it can even show you how it looks. That purple looks like, that purple looks really pretty back there, actually. But we're going to get out of that, and then we're going to actually stick to the real color that it was. Or we could go to undo if we needed to. So what we're going to do is click here. And we're going to go ahead and change it back to that, right? And if you want to see the two colors, you see what those two colors are. And then now it's matching. So now we can fix myself. I kind of cut myself up a little bit. So we could fix myself there. And now that's done. Now for this cute little element there you see how that element is in front of me and it's a different color we're going to click on that element and then we're going to go to the top where it says position so the position we can send it to the front to the back we can um align pages so if you don't know what the middle is you can click there i think that is like super super cool so i'm going to show you there so this is the exact middle of the photo but we're going to undo that Right, so we're gonna click that and then we're gonna go to position and we're gonna bring that forward so it can squiggle over my fur, right? <laughs> Fox fur. <laughs> so we can go over that. Then we're gonna change our colors here. Once again, if you wanna see what the colors were, you could go ahead and get a refresher of what those particular colors were. So I hope you guys are following along with everything. And I hope I'm making sense so it's a little bit lighter when I went. So it's not that one. It's that one. Right? There we go. Voila. So now we have that there. We're going to add a couple elements, which is our beautiful, beautiful sparkles. And then we're going to call it a day. Right? I told y'all it's a little bit different because this is off. I'm a photographer, so I pay attention to every single thing. Right? But if we wanted to, we can click it and we can move her down. Right. So that's that. And then under elements, there's so many elements that we can use. You see it's recently used ones, featured, grid, shapes, frames, stickers, charts. 
it's so many different cool things. We're gonna go ahead and do sparkles. And if you see sparkles was in my recent search, I love sparkles and all things girly and we could play around. If you wanted to, you could add this in the background. This is kind of cute. I wanted mine to be really, really simple. So you see, I click there, I'm gonna position it to the back. But you see, that's kind of busy. I could have brought it down. That's actually kind of cute. Duplicate it to make sure it goes all the way through position, put it back where. That's actually really cute, but I'm gonna delete that. So I'm looking for my sparkles, but we, this is literally unlimited to what you can do, what you can add, you can upload things. It's really, really cool. So we're just gonna add the couple sparkles. I wanted to keep it simple. I'm not a simple girl. I'm an extra girl. Like I'm a girly girl, extra sparkles, darling. But I'm that type of girl. But I wanted this to be kind of simple, right? So I'll make this a little smaller, bring it up so it could be in that little frame of the square. Bring this down some. And I believe that's all she wrote, right? So there, so I recreated the YouTube video intro. So I'm going to save this and then in front of all of my YouTube videos, this is going to be my intro. Um, I did an outro as well with the same color scheme. It's a little different. I may do a video for that. If you have any suggestions, any questions, please comment below. Ask away, right? You can follow me on all social sites. I'm Shanita Nicole on Facebook. Do dream on on Instagram and Twitter. And that'll be at the end of the video in the outro. But yeah, so a couple last things though. You see this time because it's a video, it's time. I'm going to copy a few of these so the time can be a little bit longer. As I stated, I'm speaking to you as though you're a little bit familiar with the Canva platform. So please forgive me if you don't know what I'm speaking about and ask questions and I can explain and I can make videos on it and everything for you. But so now the time is going to be 20 seconds and we can download and publish it. You want the file type to be a video beta. Now you see it's different things. We can make it into photos like so PNG or JPEG pdfs gifts animations but we want this to be a video um so it, it can save so i can put this in my youtube video so it's four pages we go ahead and click download we enjoy a nice little quote perfection is achieved not when there's nothing more to add but when there's nothing left to take away antoine de saint exploré no idea i hope i didn't murder that name <laughs> but now it's downloaded so I hope this was useful for you. I hope you learned something. Once again, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate and let me know. And thank you so much for joining. Thank you for your time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye.